guys, it's Caitlin here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a little tutorial video for you guys on how to do octagonal roofing or conical roofing, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I've already gone ahead and I've built the two that I'm going to show you today. So we've got these two here, this room here. I wanted to show you two different ones because when I learned how to do this, um, I learned that uh, it's not going to, you can't do the exact same thing for every single um, size, you know, octagonal room because um, it will work different with different sized rooms and things like that. So I wanted to show you what happens if you are to build a octagonal roof with a room who uh, that has even number of tiles and things like that and one with an odd number. So the first one we're going to do is a 6x6 six six, and the second one we're going to do is a 7x7. Seven seven. So um, it would work the same for any odd or um, even number that you were doing for these little tiny rooms uh, sorry for these little rooms here so we'll start off with the six by six and with this one first um, so you really only use the uh, hitch roof tool and the gabled roof tool those are the only two um, you need these two and then uh, the exact same in the diagonal. So what we're going to start off first is just a basic hipped roof and I will go from this view so that you can kind of see where I'm placing it. So we're going to place it here and then what we want to do is we want to bring out each side of the uh, roof so that it touches all the uh, so that all four corners touch the edges of the octagonal room just like that. Then what we're going to do is we are going to go and add a diagonal hipped roof. So we're just going to do the same here and drag it out just so like the first um, hipped roof that we placed on so that it meets all four corners. We want that one to do that um, there as well. And then what we want to do is we want to raise the roofing. Now we want to raise the diagonal roofing first because if you were, uh, so we want to raise it up like that. So if we were to raise this one up like that, we can see that that's the furthest it reaches. And then if we raise the diagonal up after, it only goes up to this point. So because of that, that is why we want to raise the diagonal first, because it is the uh, roof that won't go as high. So we want it all to match up with this one, if that makes sense. So we're going to raise it up. Um, sorry, wrong roof. We're going to bring it down this wall so that it matches the tip of the other diagonal roof. So now you see we've already got this little sort of star shape here. So we're getting there, we're getting there. So what we want to do next is we want to go ahead and add some more hips roofs. Um, and we are going to place this one here, bring it in so that it's the same width um, as the wall and then oops sorry and then stretch out the length there so that it is the same length as this one. Now we want to raise this one up so that uh, with the little white areas that you can see when you move the roofing so that they meet in a triangle like so like this. Now the beauty about doing these roofs now is that we have this copy tool so you don't need to go and do that all again one um, another time, sorry, you just need to copy and paste and you've got your two little walls there. So it is coming together quite well. Then we want to do the same with the hipped diagonal roof. Stretch that one out as well. And then we want to raise it up just like the other one so that it meets in a point. Um, and so that it's aligned with the ridge of these roofs. So that's what we're aiming for, for these little roofing sections to line up with the ridge of these ones. And as you can see that they do line up. So we are just going to go and copy that roof, turn it around and place it there. And we have the main roof there. You can leave it like this if you like, or you can go ahead and add a little rim and I will show you guys how to do that as well. So we just need the gabbled roof for this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're just going to place it there. 
and we want to bring it out so that it is the same width and same length as we see um, for the walls and then we're going to lower it down and we've got this uh, what you also want to do is use the little sphere tools there to uh, readjust the shape and you want to flatten it completely so it's completely flat then we want to copy that spin it around and place it down there <coughs> Now we want to do the same with the diagonal cardboard roof. Um, actually, no, it's not exactly the same. It's a little bit different. So I'll show you why it's different. If we were to do it exactly the same as we've just done the other one. So we've got it like that. Then we flatten it out. And then we do these. You'll notice that it doesn't line up with the others. So what you need to do instead is you need to bring it in, bring the width in by one. You also want to bring the length in by one. Then what you want to do is you just want to recenter that so it's in the center there. And once you've done that, it'll, it still doesn't match up. But what you can do is you can lengthen the eaves of the roof and you can see it fits, it fits sorry, perf perfectly now. And then we want to copy, spin it around, and place it down. So there you have a very, very, it's a lot simpler than you think. So a very, very um, nice little roofing there. And you can go ahead and add a freeze in if you like. Um, might need to make the wall a little bit bigger so that we can add a freeze. And we'll just put this one in here. Well, we'll put this one in, it might look a little nicer. So there you have a little, um, a little octagonal room roofing for a smaller room. And you can paint whatever color you like, uh, whatever your heart desires. But yeah, I hope this helped you guys out. I will show you also how to do the roofing for a odd number of you know tiles here <coughs> so it is very similar it's not exactly the same it's very similar exact same roof tools just these two here and then these two so what we want to start off with is uh, we want to start off the exact same as before with the hipped roof bring it out to all the sides now this is where it starts getting a little bit different as uh, before you saw that I placed a um, on this one here I place a diagonal and it meet the point here so with this one there is no center you cannot put it in the center <coughs> due to it being uneven sides so what you want to do is place it here rather than putting it in the middle you want to place it here you want to drag it out so that the corners meet the edges of the room like so and then what you want to do is you want to get another one and you want to place it right next to it here so you're going to need two for this one and just the same stretch um, all the sides out for that one uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to raise up the the roofing and then with these ones as well we are going to raise them up <coughs> so that both um, edges of the roofing meet up on the ridge of this triangle so it's not quite there yet so just one more so now they both meet up with the ridge there we want to do the same with the other you could just copy and paste the roofing as well with this one if you like <coughs> So there we have the simple structure there. We want to go ahead and do the same thing with the hipped roofs and we want to um, place one here, bring out the length so it meets the other side and then again we want to raise it up so that it meets like this on these two ridges because there is no ridge in the middle we want um, those white lines to meet up with these two ridges here you'll see the white lines here when I raise them up you can see them there 
and you just want them to meet like that then you want to <clears throat> copy that tool sorry guys my throat is very very um you know croaky when i started this tutorial it wasn't at the beginning but now it is so that's a little bit of a pain but we'll keep going with the tutorial and so now that we've got that we want to do the same with the diagonal hipped roof and we want to pull it through uh, and because we have a ridge in the center here we can just pull it up so it meets at the ridge like so and then we can copy and paste it like that so we've got that one as well um, and I haven't actually experimented using ridges on this one if you like you could probably also put the ridge in uh, the same way that you did with this one <clears throat> So I want to quickly show you one more little thing. So I'm just going to put a little structure here. We'll put the walls up. So in one of my um, most recent builds, I have little roofings like this on the side. And I thought I would show you guys how to do it if you would like to know how to do this one. So we want to use um, the half hipped roof. What we want to do is we want to, oh, we want to use the diagonal one, sorry. So diagonal half hipped roof. And what we want to do is we want to line it up on the diagonal here. And we are going to copy that. Oh, which way is that facing? Okay, and we want to place it there. So now that we've got that, what we want to do is we want to, um, was it a normal hip roof? I think it was a, a half hip roof. Yeah, sorry. So we want to get another half hip roof and we want to place it here. And we want to stretch it out like that. Now, if you're doing a larger room, all you need to do is just pull this out even more. So yeah, I think that is the end of this tutorial. I hope these little tips helped you guys out when it comes to these roofing. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel or you haven't subscribed already, then hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any videos in the future. Anyway, as always guys, thank you guys for watching and I will speak to you guys soon. Bye!